Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to talk to you briefly about reinstalling Microsoft Photo Editor. And Photo Editor is a program that Microsoft used to kind of pass out with their software. Now it's kind of disappeared a little bit. So to find answers on to where it might have gone, I went to the official Office forums. And you can see that it had begun shipping with Office, but as of Office 2003, they have officially discontinued making the program. So it doesn't exist anymore. They recommend that you use a sort of full-blown paid software. For those of us, though, that would like something that's really powerful but still legally free, there's a program called GIMP. And GIMP's an older program started out on Linux, but there's a large community for it and they've kept it really up to date and it's, it's actually quite a nice program. So if you look for GIMP for Windows, do a quick Google search, it brings you over to this page. And uh, the page says just briefly that it's obsolete and to go to this other page. And underneath GIMP, GIMP for Windows, it lists the current version, which is 2.8. 8.4 and if you download that it gives you this installer so we go ahead and run the installer and we want it in English and customize it now this is just the general uh, public use license agreements so we're going to go ahead this is very important this step right here selecting where GIMP is going to go the first time that I installed this I just kind of accepted the, the default GIMP was designed to run on XP, which means it's a 32-bit program. I'm running a 64-bit operating system, so when I try to run GIMP, it wouldn't work at all. You've got to change the default install from the program files to program x86 files. So, or x86, excuse me. So we're just going to click on program files x86, and that's where we want it to go. All right, so next. And these are all the things it's going to install. We're going to select full installation. And yes, associate GIMP files with the program. And we'll just accept those the way that they are. So now that GIMP has uh, completed its install, we're going to hit Finish. And come over to the Start menu and type GIMP. Or actually, it pops it right up as a recently used program. So let's click on it. And it's going to fire up for this first time use. And it's just kind of looking for its own modules and downloading fonts and that kind of thing. And there we go, it's up and running. So let's open up an image with it. Let's go to File, Open. And I have this headshot of me on the desktop here. So let's open that up. And uh, you can do some, some kind of cool things with it. It's got, a, it's got a bunch of different saturation and color balance controls. So you can really kind of play with it a little bit. And it's also got this handy dandy uh, history window so that you can go backward through your history however far you need to. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to get a photo editor up and running again if you've been looking for a Microsoft photo editor. Uh, GIMP is completely free. If you've got any other questions, please contact me at josiah at jraystudios.com. I'm Josiah Ray.